Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. Now I think you got pretty understand. So you got a clear, clear idea how to add, edit and also the delete of the particular data. So now here we are having a product details, right? And now let's try to add an association to the products. So association to the products means a product can be available to a particular category. Let's assume. So a product can have, have to belong to a particular category. Let's say that you are having something like electronics means. So electronics in that electronics, you can have mobiles like that. You will be able to have mobiles, laptops. These all the things are called as a products and electronics comes under the category. So that comes the category and also the product when you are trying to add a product. So who, the, who is the user that is going to add a product? So we need to know that which user has added this product and also that one also we need to know it. So now that means we need to have an association with the product. So one category, a category is there. A category can have many products. A product belongs to a category, a single category. So like this, we need to have a associations with this one. So first in order to develop an association, let's try to learn what whatever the things we have learned up to now. So we have successfully feel com felt comfortable in adding editing and all those things deleting products so let's try to do one uh, another time uh, not another time so let's try to recap these things so adding these all things by using a category so we'll create we'll we'll create the category show the category set it the category delete the category very quickly we'll try to do it and we'll try to create an association with the product and a category so a category has has a product and the product belongs to a category so we'll try to do it like this so first in order to have associations first we need to have some other table some other data so that is nothing but a categories so let's try to implement it very quickly so with what with what we have learned it so that we can feel very comfortable and you can also have an idea so if you already see my all previous videos and you are practicing along with me means so now you can uh, directly do this add category and all those things or otherwise you can see my uh, process how i am doing so you can quickly do this one all so let's try to do it for defining a category what we need to do first of all we need to create a model so we already know so let's create a model so here we'll create a category model dot js file so category dot js file so now a category so we will have a category one second yeah we will have a category so in this one sequelize or otherwise what i can do is constant category is equal to sequelize so this sequelize should be this sequelize should come from util slash db so constant sequelize you can have db also you can keep it not a problem so require slash utils utils slash database so this is where from so this is where the database will come so now here i will be using sequelize dot define the name is category so first one is the model name is category and we need to define the column names so here you will be having an id and the type is data types data types dot string you can have data types dot string and here i can add data types dot string and it is a primary key okay it's a true and we can have an auto increment so it's a true so you can have uh, you can also add not read it so but you can add hello null it's a false so that's it this is a primary key. you can have it now the next one is what i will try to maintain so title so title we will be having type data type data types dot integer uh, sorry string so we can have string and the another one is uh what is that one so we can have hello null hello null or false last one you can have if you need it description also you try to keep it so or otherwise you will you'll try to keep it not a problem so one failed only right what will happen so you can have data rips and this one also you can have hello null false and i will try to export this one module dot exports so you already know about these all the things so i am completing it very fast so you can also do you can pause the video or you can skip this video and you can do all the things which i am doing so we got a category model defined 
so now it's time for us to create a category controller in the admin so category controller dot js file now here i am creating a routes so i will create a new route category routes i don't want to take uh, advantage so i will i will take an advantage here yeah so constant express is equal to so here we can require of express so i can do the express and constant router we need to have a router express dot router so this is the router we'll be having and we need to import module dot exports is equal to router so this router we need to export it that's it now here router dot get so not this router actually we need to have this router i think yeah so router where is one gone router, router okay so here in between this one router dot get so you can have this get method and somebody comes here into this one slash so we need to show the get category page okay so we will be showing here the list of all the categories let's go on to this one category control in this admin also we have created and get category page is here only exports dot get category page is equal to so this one comes the request comma response so here i can have the constant use data so we need to uh, de uh, design this use data also so let's try to have some page title so categories this we can have it and now we need to have a page also rest dot render and here i can have something like in the admin in the categories i will create categories page okay let's try to be very much precise so views data so in the admin so in the views in the admin in the category section i am creating a file that is nothing but categories page dot ejs ejs i am creating this one so now we got the categories page dot ejs so here we can copy somewhat from the products or uh, from the ad products or somewhere else we can copy this one to have a template so we can have this template and we can delete this all the main and all those things up to here we can delete it and this one we need to have something like yeah here we can have it like this we need to have and sit and in this one you can have a container and go call mark 12 and here i can show h1 categories categories details so this is the main thing so we'll try to show the categories we'll loop over the categories and all those things for looping over the categories what we need to do we need to have a add category page let's design this add category page also let's go to the route category routes and here somebody adds here router dot get top slash add slash add if somebody comes here i need to show get add category page so this is a page i need to show so get add category page i can copy it here so we can have this one also get category page and where i can go to the category controller and here exports dot get add category page is equal to request comma response so here we will be creating same thing so here i will be having the same thing and this here we'll, we need to change the data also so we will be changing the logic also first we will try to create the skeleton of this one add category so there is no need of list so here we will be having add category page so i am creating a page so that i can have a differentiation that page means it's a view file so here in the same thing i am creating add category page dot ejs or ecjs i have created it should not be ecjs it should be yes in the categories page i can copy this entire thing and i can have this one now in this one we need to do add category add category and here what i will try to do here let's create a form in this form so you should be having add category slash add and in this one let's create a p label and in this one you'll be having a title and this one you'll be having an input text name is equal to title and the class is equal to form control so this is a bootstrap class in order to have a clear view so another one is p tag and here i will be having a label so i can have description 
and it is also text area so class is equal to form control form control and that's it we can have this one so let's try to have another one e tag button add category so i'll be getting an add category and here we'll be having class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary that's it so we have created an add category page also so these all category controller category routes and everything is completed so what we need to do now we need to add it in the app.js so this categories file is a root file is not present so we need to add the categories file so here how can i add i can remove this product model and where we are adding all those things so here we are adding all those things so what i can do so here we are having these all the things right actually we need to keep slash admin here so that we can have all those things we'll try to change those all things afterwards i will use something like app dot use slash categories i'll be having like this slash categories and category routes we can have category routes so it will not be imported why because we have it created with the category routes we have created with the router so i can have this one and in this one we can have category routes that's it i think everything is working fine so no problem no no errors got yeah here we got it request okay let's get category page so get category page means in the category controller yeah here we have used something i think everything is working fine so let's go and here also get add category page is not defined in the category routes okay let's go to the category routes and this one we haven't imported why because we have added before creating only so everything is working fine <clears throat> so automatically the category the table also will be created why because we have added the sync right so here you will be able to see the categories also if i try to click on the select rows title description created updated we are able to see the categories table also why because we already have a sqlized sync so that is the reason automatically this one got added so fine so everything is working fine now let's go to the navigation let's add a uh, this one so includes navigation here we are having add product and all those things right so in the admin here we will have categories okay categories this one comes slash categories so i don't i want to make it as simple categories that's it and if i go into this one if i refresh this page we are able to get the categories and this one is the category details and here if i try to show slash add so we need, we are getting an add category so successfully we have created somewhat the framing of this uh, categories page so now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to add the category and we'll try to show the category and we'll do the edit also so we have all the things we already did for the product we'll do it very quickly for this add category also in the next in the next video hope you understood about this one adding a routing so all the things which we have discussed earlier we have did it in a quick blinks in one video we have did all the things we have added the routing we have added the files uh, view files and we have added the controllers everything we have did it with you within uh, when bridge model also we have created sequelize model also we have created hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you